morning guys it good morning it's July 23rd Tuesday we have numbers of 23 and 24 today 23 represents confidence it's about changes gifts surprises um, it's also about boundaries you know fences bottom line final line um, the border walls blocks and then we have 24, which is something manifesting in the physical. So it feels like somebody's been given the bottom line or somebody's been giving a demand and they're either going to cooperate or compromise in some kind of way or they're going to say, nope, I will not tolerate this or this has to end now. Okay, we also have a T-square. And exiting through the moon in Aries, encouraging us to go along to get along or uh, be brave in making changes because in order to compromise, you have to lose a little to gain a lot, right? So as long as everybody's sacrificing something, you're not the only one who's losing. But in the end, it's a win-win situation, okay? If we can agree on the main concepts, we can work out the details later. And then everybody can be uh, accommodated. Okay, now this T-square involves the Mercury retrograde conjuncting Venus. Okay, so this can be a disappointment. Um, and it also involves Pluto retrograde and Capricorn. And that being a square is somebody saying, I've had enough of you taking too much from me. Um, I'm tired of giving you all my time, my money, my investment. I'm tired of spinning on something. I'm tired of thinking about this. I'm tired of going around and around and around. I'm tired of fighting. I just want this to end. Okay, so Pluto retrograde and Capricorn involved in that T-square is breaking an attachment. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of releasing. Some are being pushed out, some are being purged, and some are doing this releasing with unconditional love, like a memory of somebody. I release you to the universe. I love you forever, and I'm confident that you loved me when you were here. Okay, um, releasing an attachment to, you know, if you're losing a big chunk of money, you know what? Oh, well, I'm being taught a lesson, so I need to see the positive in this and see what will come of this. Because if I keep that positive attitude, nothing devastating will happen further. Okay, because it's always darkest before the dawn. So if there's something that is devastating, as long as you're working on yourself, there will be a positive outcome, okay? Or a positive lesson learned in this, which brings a positive outcome later, right? Everybody, you just wanna feel good. You're tired of feeling bad. You're tired of feeling sick to your stomach. You're tired of having this thing on your mind, taking up your thoughts and space in your head. Okay, so there's something that's keeping you, that's distracting you. Oh boy. Okay, we'll take one more card. So somebody's giving up or somebody's making a showing of force going to make you do something or make you not do something. They want to make you. Somebody wants to control, 333. Three. Okay, one more please. We have one more. So yeah, there's... Um, there's a reneging going on here. Somebody's either taking back their promise of something or, or they told you something or you had a meeting where you agree, uh, guys agreed to cooperate or link up or work on a particular be, uh, deal. They're backing out, okay? It is Mercury retrograde, so there could have been a lot of people jumping the gun and going, yeah, I'll do this, or yes, I'll do this, or somebody could come to them and... and have said, hey, can you blankety blank, I need blank, and you, of course, you know, out of your mouth, you said, oh yeah, sure, I'll do that, or mm, all right, I'll do that, and there's this feeling of being trapped in a promise, or in some kind of agreement, something you initially agreed to, that that is not working for you anymore, okay, now this could have been a long-term contract, and now that Mercury's in retrograde, you're rethinking, because retrograde is re, right, we have five planets in retrograde and Chiron is also in retrograde that's a lot of uh, backwards energy that's a lot of reviewing the past that's a lot of reviewing promises 
reviewing relationships, reviewing your commitments. Okay, so you're looking at all your previous commitments. Now I'm going to roll uh, retrograde, so we'll go with the Chiron cards. Oh, look at that. Immediately. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Had to pause you guys for a minute. Okay, clarify this three. Clarify the uh, marriage card. Okay, no more on that. Now, change of direction. This is a change of investment, okay? Because we've got, um, hold on, let me get through this. Clarify this situation, please. Let me clarify by this situation. Well, that sucker wanted to come out. It's stuck on my finger. Clarify the situation. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Okay, so for this promise or this meeting or this working together or even this contract or agreement, we have the Mentor of Cups. Okay, so there's some schooling going on. The Mentor of Cups is a spiritual person with a sacred commitment to the sensual. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Energy. Not necessarily a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but can involve a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. <laughs> Even North Node at this point, because we're talking about direction. Okay, and it's also the difference between enjoying the finer things in life and sinking into sybaritic excess. That's, you know loving luxury or sensory pleasure it's like you're too much or you take too much or you are too much okay so there's a feeling of somebody being really greedy in this this is also learning about receptivity and reflectiveness sensuality and sharing and loving without owning okay nurturing and healing of our own feelings and with that t-square today Somebody is going to take back their promise or their agreement um, or their attachment. This is breaking the trust, a breach of trust. So they could be breaking a legal agreement for a partnership. They could be breaking a promise, a promise to love, or they could be breaking up in a relationship. Now, some of this is because somebody, somebody doesn't believe they deserve to receive okay now if this isn't a relationship this is somebody who's insecure and doesn't really believe they're not open to receiving yet their heart chakra hasn't busted wide open but I think with this mentor of cups it's about to get busted wide okay if this is in a business relationship this is uh, going back on a contract that takes too much from you okay if it's a business or if it's um a job they're taking a lot from you they're taking advantage of you it's like they think you're their property or your ideas or your property <laughs> or your money is there somebody's being greedy okay it's like you're being used so there's a lesson being brought here somebody is releasing a contract or a promise or an agreement or a partnership okay because they need to nurture and heal their own feelings somebody's getting the short end of the stick here they're getting cheated or ripped off or robbed in some way okay so nine here we go with the uh, change card see nine there's gonna be a change in your journey in your path in where you're going it's a number nine so it's like a purging or a push out or this can be you know um, I release you and love you forever kind of deal for some people Get a little clarification on this mentor of cups for some people somebody has passed away we have all this retrograde energy so you could be thinking about past relationships and past promises and you could have been um stuck for the longest time stuck on this person even though this person didn't um no longer exist um they could have passed away or they could have left you okay you had to learn to love 
yourself and that is why you're breaking this attachment because it is not in your best interest it's taking too much of your time your ideas your energy your money it's taking too much of your love and you just can't enough already okay enough already I'm done princess of wands reversed and this is not a snap decision this has been something that has been percolating or brewing you've been thinking about how can I get out of this hoping for something to happen to come in so in fact you are manifesting a situation you want to get the hell out of there okay you're over it look at that it's like you you feel like you've lost big you've either lost a big chunk of change um, you might have lost it all if somebody had passed away and you were still sticking to their memory. Okay, sudden wealth is reversed and we have wealthy man. So this is like an investor, uh, wealthy person, well to do, financial, financially set, and a little bit of a... It's like they had power with their money or something, or they seemed ever powerful. Somebody's losing out some money. They're going to have to change um, how they handle things. So this could be, you know, I can't get that time back with them. I can't get love back. I can't get time back. I can't get my energy back. I can't. You can get your money back, okay? You might have to do uh, some legal filings. Or whatever but at this point it looks like you're just letting it go and you're not investing anything in it already okay you've lost enough of your time thinking about it spinning about it sweating about it no more I'm done giving this any kind of energy I'm done giving you any kind of support somebody is done supporting someone else Prince of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands yeah somebody's get <laughs> they're done um, Princess of Pentacles is reversed. Okay, this is practical. This is communication. Can be news. Somebody physically traveling to tell you something. It's reversed, so, so. It's reversed, though, so. <laughs> I said so, so. Okay. This is communicating about practical things. Um, discussion, negotiations. It can be, you know, budgeting. Oh, it's reverse. So it's like feeling like I've wasted. This is somebody saying, expressing, I've wasted a lot of time with you. Or I've wasted a lot of money already. Or I wasted my precious resources. I wasted enough of my precious resource. I feel like I'm completely bankrupt. So for some of you guys... Uh, financially, some of you guys are being bankrupt, okay? Energetically, you are bankrupt. For others, you're cutting off the energy. Um, I'm, gi I'm done giving. So there's this feeling of somebody being taken advantage of and another person cutting it off. And here again, we have the five of discs, which is five of pentacles. This, this is fear. This is also being ghosted, being left out in the cold. For some of you guys, you're being kicked out of your house. This can be kicked out of your parents' house, kicked out of your lover's house. This can be a hostile takeover in a business because look at that. Hostile takeover. We got ambition. We've got passion. We've got anger, communication. And this is work. Okay, so this is your day-to-day -day schedule. This is your ability to cope. This is your shared resources. This is research and brushing up on your skills, adding to it, um, working hard every day. So this can be somebody's locked out. There is a hostile takeover. It feels like in the banking world, a company is being taken over. Their base of operations no longer belongs to them. And this is like somebody taking charge of the situation. I'm done playing with you. I'm moving now. This is almost like declaring war. This is declaring war or this is a complete lockout. 
your services are no longer needed or um, yeah it feels like a company is being taken over and everybody's receiving their walking papers you can't work here anymore you supported the previous owners this could even be in a relationship okay I'm tired of dealing with you all I do is I'm constantly working here at home every day I feel like I'm alone this doesn't feel like my home I'm walking on eggshells when I'm here because of your anger I feel like it's constant work to have to tiptoe around you. I don't feel like this is my home. I don't feel like it's secure. I'm taking back all the energy that I put into it. Okay, so I just I just saw the length the labyrinth um, the movie Labyrinth with David David Bowie when she's trying to remember the poem and the line that she can't remember that she finally remembers was like the turning point of the movie. You have no power over me. I take back any power you had over me or I'm taking your power. So this could be, like I said, a takeover, a hostile takeover or a walk out. shunned, banned, ousted. Turned away. I don't want to share this home with you anymore. I can't. Yeah, definite breaking of attachment. Going back on a promise or going back on what you had agreed to. It doesn't have to be a promise. You can just, you know, previously you could have said, yeah, okay, I'll do that or I'll try. Okay. Toil and labor. I've worked hard for you. We don't seem to be working towards the same thing. I, I think it's time we uh, part ways. Okay, guys, I am back. Okay, so the last card we got was Toil and Labor. This is about your day-to-day -day schedule. Okay, so is this. Okay, but this is about, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. You put in so much work, and it was taken. You were taken advantage of. It wasn't acknowledged. You're not being recognized um, for what you've done. That's why you're taking it back. Okay, either you weren't given credit, you weren't recognized, you weren't heard. Somebody's not listening to you. Okay, they've got a lot of uh, frustration and anger. So they're not really hearing you. Um, they're not really recognizing you. It's kind of like they're pushy and bossy. They just, they're feeding on your energy. They're, they're using you. They're taking advantage of your services. Okay, and now it's like, you know, uh, thanks for your time, thanks for your energy, thanks for your money, thanks for your ideas, thanks for your love. Now, get the fuck out of my house, basically kind of deal. Um, you were used, and you were robbed. You were robbed of something that you really, truly can't get back. If it is money, you might have a recourse in court, but I wouldn't recommend making any lawsuits or filing anything until Mercury retrograde is over. Okay, so once we get into the beginning of August, you can move forward to try and recover. Now, some of you guys, you might be spinning on this because it is Mercury retrograde in Leo. You are having flashes of insight. Well, this person never did this. They never did this. They never did this. They never did this. How was this relationship? Okay, were you giving? and receiving or did somebody constantly have their hand out to you more 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 give me give me give me do for me do for me do for me okay meanwhile you gave and you gave and you gave and you were being neglected your needs were being ignored 
you're being left out in the cold. Some of you guys need to go home. Some of you guys need to go home. Some of you guys need to touch base with yourself. Okay, that just fell off. Weird. So, it's probably telling me take a card out of here. I'm going to listen because I'm sitting over here going like this. And this big giant thing actually fell off like pick one. So, okay, we're going to pick one. And this is from my Of Heaven on Sending on Earth deck. Hmm, how funny the ability is on the workability cards. On skills. Ability is on the skills card. <laughs> okay. Hiki, ability. Today, all is attainable. The love and integrity you radiate will be sent back to you with tenderness and joy. Okay, so whatever you feel you lost here, you're going to end up recovering. You're going to be recovering your joy because there's nothing being taken from you anymore. Okay, the time where you're being taken of, you've been alleviated of it. Your blood, sweat, and tears and everything you put in it, you're walking away from it. Okay, with your head held high. Clarify toilet later, please. And you may have to, you're going to have to work on some different goals, okay? Change your direction. Toil and labor is also number 38, okay? So it's about researching information. What is your bliss? What do you want to turn your energy to now? Whew, sorry about that, guys. Um, we do have lava tubes in the store today, so I expect to be constantly uh, interrupted. Um, not that they're interrupting me, but I expect for people to come in and be like, Hey, you got lava tubes? So just to let you guys know, we've got double lehing moi and we've got bubblegum and bubblegum lehing moi lava tubes in store right now. Okay. And if you guys don't know what lava tubes are, they're, they are lehing moi ice pops. They are the best. Okay, they were originally created when my folks lived down in Hawaiian beaches, and they still live there, but it's Hawaiian beaches own lava tubes, lihi moi ice pops, and they used to sell them like 11 years ago, and they've been kind of off the market. I mean, they've made them off and on for, you know, the family to enjoy, but they've recently released it as of last month, and they started back with the strawberry lihi moi, and... They started with the double lihing moi, and then this week they're releasing the bubblegum and the bubblegum lihing moi. Guys, so we're up to three flavors. Freaking delicious. Um, after I'm done with this reading, I'm going to go have one myself. <laughs> Lucky me, I get to have as many as I want. Not that I'm going to gorge or anything, because one will do you. If you're hot, you're sweaty, and it is hot and steamy and sweaty and muggy. That is the best thing. Just one, and you'll be satisfied, you know. If you want to go to the store and buy yourself a box of popsicles, well, go ahead, you know. And you're going to find that um, you got to eat, like, the whole box of popsicles to uh, equal one cooling down session with the lava tube. <laughs> okay, so toil and sweat. So there could have been a lot of fighting over the energy that you had done. Like I was saying... Um, you were never recognized. They never gave you credit for how much you put in. Okay, they looked at you as a burden. Meanwhile, you were the one that was taking care of the major physical labor burden. Five of Wands. Okay, fighting insecurity. Um, this is also competition. So there could have been going back. Well, I did this. I did more than you, or I gave more than you. Okay, somebody trying to throw it in your face with their ego. Um, acting like you didn't do it enough. They're, they're falsely confident. They seem to think that they've done more for you when in truth you're the one that put in the blood, sweat, and tears and you're not even getting credit for it. Okay, so there could have been arguments over who was giving what. And that time has come. Okay, this can, all, it's, it's a com competition. I did this, I did this. Well, I bought this. Okay, well, I did this. <laughs> you know, so there was an equal exchange of energy, only somebody's not recognizing it. So they used you. They used you and then said, well, you didn't do anything, even though you did everything. Okay, the sun. The sun is about growth. Okay, it's about healing. And the sun is in Leo as of today. So this is about healthy growth. 
doing things healthier, some light being shed on where you've been used, where you've given too much, where you haven't been properly credited or properly given authority. Okay, so it's going to come to light. Beginnings and endings. Okay, you're going to see or you're going to be reviewing and taking a look at everything that you have done for this person and you feel that it's been equal if not more than what they've given but they still have this big ego you know um, I'm still feeling the fire and the anger you don't work enough for me or you don't give me enough yet again having their hand out you don't do enough give me more okay I've done more than you give me more <laughs> um, this can also be competition. So there can be, if in a relationship, they might be straying their eyes to other people looking for who else they can use or take from. Or this could be a new factor that demands you work harder and even more. Because some of you out there deserve more. So this can be recognition of I haven't given you enough I promise to do better hold on so yeah um, remember what I was saying over here you're kind of reviewing over here you're taking a look at how somebody has taken from you how they've treated you like you were property like they were entitled to your service or to your money or to your property or to your ideas you're being used and stolen from okay so this is going to be exposed okay somebody's going to grow from that from saying enough already enough already i'm done okay and for others they're going to be really conflicted about uh, they might be facing their own demons and where they gave their power away because the sun can also be draining. It can be draining um, if you are spinning. It can suck the life out of you if you have um, projection. If you are believing what somebody is telling you you are or you aren't. Okay, somebody's looking at you going, no, you haven't put enough energy into it when you're the only one who cooks and cleans and scrubs everything. If they're going to come at you like that, um, you can't let that wear on you. You have to nip it in the bud. And if you haven't nipped it in the bud, then that bud's growing. It's time to harvest that shit. Okay, the hairs are red. Cut it fucking down. <laughs> oh, look at that. Brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Okay, so this could be, like I said, there could be some competition here and there could be some light shed on abuse of power. Somebody blaming you when it's really their shortcoming. Okay, so this could be like a brilliant idea as how to get past this because we have the sun too. Brilliant idea. Sun and Leo. What else do we have? Uh, Mercury and Leo. We also have Venus and Leo. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, and as a matter of fact, uh, Mercury retrograde is... Has it moved back to cancer yet? I can't remember. Hold on a second. <laughs> a Mercury. Oh, see, Mercury retrograde has reversed back into um, cancer, okay, because it's conjuncting with Venus. That is part of the T-square today. So, this is communi communicating or traveling or discussing the home. What Mercury conjunct Venus. Discussion of what you love. Discussion of pleasure. Negotiating of pleasure. Negotiating of property and money. Okay, so this feels like the talk. Okay, so some of you guys could suddenly figure out how to solve this. 
suddenly uh, somebody could suddenly change sides. Okay, they, you could have somebody uh, side with you, or they could suddenly be realizing how they're projecting onto you. They could realize how much they're taking from you and then come up with a brilliant solution. I don't know. We, we're going to find out, aren't we? All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Love you. See you guys tomorrow.